You will need two people to install your Sauna Wellness Pro 10 safely. Your infrared sauna will come in four boxes. Box A, one of four, contains the front and the back sauna walls. Box B, two of four, contains the two side walls. Box C, three of four, contains the ceiling and floor panels along with the handles and the ionizer air freshener. And finally, box D, four of four, contains two pieces for the seating bench. The most efficient way to set up your infrared sauna is to stage the area of installation with the components of these boxes so that you can easily access the part that you need. The floor panel. Decide where the back of your infrared sauna will be and place the side of your floor panel with the electrical cord closest to the wall. This is where your seating bench will be. The open floor slats are where your infrared sauna door will be. Make sure to allow six inches of clearance from the wall for installation. The first support wall. The first wall to erect will be the back wall with the Himalayan salt tiles. Set the wall down on the outside of the floor molding. While installer one supports the wall, installer two retrieves one of the side walls. Again, place the wall down on the outside of the floor molding. Ensure that the fitting is correctly aligned and secure the three buckles by locking them in place. The second sidewall. Now installer two remains to support the connected walls while installer one retrieves the second remaining wall. Following the same procedure, ensure that the walls are aligned and secure the buckles by locking them in place. The seating bench. Next, you will want to install the seating bench while the front of the sauna is open and accessible. The first piece to install is the piece with the heating element. Place this piece on its side with the heater vents facing the open part of the sauna. Plug in the electrical cord that is connected to the floor panel into the back wall outlet. Fit the bench piece into the molding grooves on each side wall and plug in the remaining electrical cord. Slide the second piece of the bench seating area in between the side vents and on top of the bench piece with the heating element. You will not need any hardware to support the bench. The glass door. Taking care not to let the door swing open, set the panel in front of the remaining floor molding, paying attention that the logo is facing outward. Again, secure the three buckles on each side of the door panel. The ceiling. Using two people, lift the ceiling panel onto the four walls with the finished side down and the wiring facing up. Make sure to place any wiring attached to the walls on the outside of the sauna. Electrical wiring. Note the diagram on the left bottom of the screen. There are six pre-drilled holes where wiring from three of the walls should be threaded through and connected to the ceiling panel. Beginning with the pre-drill hole numbered one on the diagram, pull through both the electrical cord and the white wiring. Moving on to diagram number two, you will need to pull through the white wiring. These white wires will connect to the center electrical board and the black electrical cords to their counterparts.
Diagram number three has a black and red wire that connects the Himalayan salt tile lights. Plug that wire into its respective counterpart and then continue on with diagram number four, five, and six. When you get to the diagram number six, you will have one extra connection to make. This is where the main power, the control panel, and the temperature sensor is connected. When all of these connections are made, you can plug in your sauna. The handle. The handle to your infrared sauna door comes already assembled. Using a Phillips screwdriver or a drill with a Phillips drill bit, remove the two screws from both sides of the handle. Disconnect the two sides and proceed to remove the hardware from inside the handle ports. Separate the hardware, leaving one plastic washer on each side. Thread the bolt and the washer through the top hole in the glass and attach the other piece with the washer facing the glass. With your Phillips screwdriver or drill bit in one hand, grab one of the handles with the other hand and fit the protruding end into the open hardware. Drive the screw in just tight enough to hold the handle secure. Don't over tighten. The piece should end up with the screw holes in a perfect horizontal position where you can see through the holes to the other side. That is to allow the holes in the handle to align with the hardware so that you can secure the final screws in place, one on each side toward the top of the handle and the bottom. Again, do not over tighten. The O2 Ionizer. The final piece for your Sauna Wellness Pro 10 is the Oxygen Ionizer Air Freshener. This product comes in the box with the hardware. It requires no batteries. You simply plug it into the DC cord coming down from the ceiling and screw it into your desired location. 